we, and also mm. moisturizes as well. You see that? When I restarted, that thing was glitchy, glitchy. This is for grandma in heaven. Harmony, I still remember. Hi, grandma. You remember how many my grandma asked me to make her mixtape of Billie Jean or like Michael Jackson music? Cause my grandma loved Michael Jackson, and before I can give her you know the mixtape, my grandma passed away unfortunately. I'm sorry, grandma. How many? This is my makeup. See that glitch? Oh, my 666 1666 speaker needs to go back. That's too glitchy. Too glitchy. You're going back tomorrow. How many? Okay, these are for the eights. Eights. Michael Jackson singing Billie Jean. Jean, do you understand? Didn't I even make you a mixtape of this a long time ago? Do you remember? Jean? Do you, do you forgive me yet? Or are you still like, you know, avoiding me and stuff? Billie Jean. I love Michael Jackson. One. Oh. Glitch. Glitchy speaker. The new JBL is on channel 5. The old one is on 4. Look at this. It's glitchy. Look at it. Glitchy. You're going back. Not video proof showing you that you're glitchy. Bye bye. I might upgrade to a bigger one. How's that? I'll get the little bigger. Oh, that's glitchy. Not my son, Jean Bong Lee. You know why? Remember I told you my first love was Jean Lee, and you closed the deal on her. All that was prophetic, people. Jean, you understand? I know you do. You're a smart girl. You're smarter than you think you are. Remember I told you how smart I thought you were? You were the smartest girl I ever dated. Next to Jessie. Jessie was number two in terms of intelligence. She had 135 IQ. Well, like my mama said, if you've been paying attention, someone had 100 IQ comparing to 135. 135 is going to make them look silly. Why are you so glitchy? Is it because you want me to turn it down to pay attention? Sure. Hey, Michael, wherever you are. That doesn't mean he's alive, people. Michael's dead. You know, come on. Just like Colby passed away. I'm so sad for Colby and the daughter. You don't know. I went to a little restaurant next to where I used to live on Lake Street. Not where I worked on Lake, but where I used to live on Lake. 1109. In Koreatown. I went to Howard's Cafe. They have a little picture of fucking Bruce Lee next to the bathroom. And the uh, black people there are the friendliest, most welcoming people in the world. People, you must bless them. And remember, you guys at Howard's, I told you who I was, right? When I came and gave you all that shit and you guys gave me free food that I gave to my friend Andrew. I said, I didn't want to, like, oh, thank you, but I wasn't hungry, so I just passed it on to my, my, my brother Andrew. It's hey, God said, you know, I wanted to drop you off some food, and I did. So, um, Howard's Cafe is a great black-owned restaurant. You must go there and bless them and make them forever rich. I bless them beyond measure. I even gave them my little Spider-Man outfit and said, hang on to this. One day it will be valuable. You got to know the right time to sell it. Gene, do you understand? When did I ever lie to you? In everything I said to you, I was not lying. My number one queen was always my wife. What I've been telling you, Jean, you will never ever surpass her. You will always be number two. No matter how hard you try, no, you're always two. I love you, Jean. But not like I love my wife. I told you, it's different. I love my wife. She will always be number one, even through all this shit. But I told my wife, this is fucking the part of the plan. Just trust me and I'll fucking get you there. Anyways, see Jean, can you follow my logic yet? I'm sorry that I did that to you, but I don't mean it. Of course I'm not, but you are still number two to me forever. You were that important to me in life. I realize this. That's why we have to love everybody, baby. Everybody needs love at the right time. Okay, Jesse, you're somewhere else in America, I think. You were someone else I was considering marrying. You know how close we got until God said, no, 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 no. Go back to America. And what happened? You just left, right? 
after all that shit, I... <laughs> anyway, that's fine, Jesse. I love you too. Like I said, I will always love you guys. No matter where we go, I always love you guys. Okay? No matter how we split up, it's okay. All right? Anyone I've ever dated, even my rich girl... Like, everybody. My first girlfriend, her name was Stephanie. And she was barren. And she was in her 30s. And her parents wanted her to, like, go enjoy and experience life. Go out with him. And, you know? And I didn't really care. And she was just... My girlfriend at the time. I loved her and I took her out and I got her high for the very first time in her life. I got her high on a camping trip, you know? And it was funny because she, she had a bong and then like, hey, you have to suck in. Remember, you have to suck in. And then first thing she does is it blew it and it blew the precious weed away. Like, if you understand, weed in Korea is extremely hard to get. But the checkpoints are, you know, there's some flaws in the system. It still gets through. You know, I'm not saying it's a good or bad thing, but uh, hey, CBD is good. Korea is on the steps. Korea is very close to how LA was when it was legalized, like medical marijuana. That's where Korea was at. I don't know about now because I haven't been following, but I think Korea is on the way to legalizing marijuana. And the stigma of it being bad has to change. It's not a bad thing. 한국 분들, 미국 좀 따라가야 된다. Koreans, you have to follow America's example. America's legalizing this even if it's bad. Because China and Korea think, oh, no, no, no. Even my mom's like, you go teach ma, don't fucking smoke this. And I'm like, mom, don't worry. Trust me. I know what this is and I'm going to teach it. And I'm sharing with you freely. Because I love Michael Jackson. See, Harmony? Michael Jackson, Thriller. Who didn't what? Women the what? What? You know I like you, don't you? Yes. I like everybody. And I hope you like me the way I like you. Papa, which yes. which bed am I gonna sleep in next? That's one Papa, of if your wife doesn't say come girl. home and say I'm sorry, the king oh my God. will not know which bed he will be sleeping in, Papa. <laughs> it feels too loud once again. I don't know which bed I will be sleeping in, Papa. If the number one queen does not return and say two simple words to me. I even proposed to her officially in Hawaii on 111. Yes, Michael. Michael, my son, do you understand how powerful your name is? Michael Jordan is one of the, he is the all time greatest. And then Kobe, and then, you know, discussions later. The full moon, all scary, scary. Oh, okay. You understand? I could do this with anything. Anything. I could do this with anything. You understand? Harmony, thank you. I love you, Grandma. I love you. Bye bye.